Some time ago, I did a video about HTA um, applications. And basically what these are is files which are HTML and all you really do is just change the file to .hta. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how you can actually customize these so they look much better. Um, I'm going to use this example of a program I did, a JavaScript program, Calendar. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change um, the icons. So there it's got calendar, which is just a generic um, icon. And you can see they're on the desktop as well. And, and that's just the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change um, this image here, which is at the bottom, which you might be able to uh, see eventually. And it's just that. But it's in PNG form at the moment, and what we want is to put it into .ico. So what we do with that, or what I do, is we just go to this website called Convert ICO, and you can drag and drop your PNG files um, into the box there. So all that is basically is just pop popping that over there, and now that's your. Uh, I code done so you just download it and save as uh, cal.ico so just put this in here and uh, now that's changed the um, the file uh, so we just load this up and here's our calendar.hta so here what we do is we just put in HTA and then colon oops colon application application and then icon equals and then speech marks and then it's call in this instance you can call yours whatever you want ico uh, forward slash and then just that so this will just file and save that and then we go back into here load this calendar up again and you see there now that's changed um so at the top um that's got now the icon or the icon which is similar to favi favicons and things in uh, in web design so we just knock that back down and we've also now got it on the taskbar see there and uh, you can do that for all your .hta um, applications your desktop applications it has to be on windows it doesn't work on linux or mac um, but I, I do use these it's like a side project for me i do hta um, documents and things like that they're not going to be as slick as uh, things done in node.js and that um, if you want that you've got to learn it i think but um for uh for just easy simple desktop applications it's it's a very uh simple method to do <clears throat> so what else we can do is to um do a shortcut so we create a shortcut for that and then we just uh cut and paste onto the desktop and um, just put past that. And there we go. So now we uh, and here's another little uh, trick. Well, I've I've watched a few YouTube videos, and I sometimes get a little bit confused of what they do when uh, they're looking for um, icons and stuff on the desktop. Where you have loads of icons actually on the on the desktop. Just a minute. Um, that you that you can add. So here, for example, you just uh, click change icon, and then you've got like hundreds and hundreds of icons that you could use. But I'm going to stick to the one that um, that that I did for the uh, for the calendar. So just browse there, and then you just uh, I hope this is the icon one and not the P PNG. But just try that. 
okay apply and okay and there we are so there you are um that's that looks much more professional and uh, better so this is the way to customize your um ht applications i have had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of emails and stuff about about them and people can't understand how simple it is to just switch from <clears throat> an html document to hta it's the way we used to do it once or where i used to do it if i just wanted uh, desktop uh, uh, things so there you just do it like normal and there you and there's your your program uh another one that's in this folder i believe it's um is it a calendar yeah uh, calculator and there again you see at the top there there's your icon and down here as well it's on the taskbar so it just works the same as any other um this actually was the first program i ever ever made in javascript back in 2003 i was chuffed to bits how it actually worked it was very very simple but sometimes that's all you need so i hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and uh, any comments or anything like that uh, and thanks for watching and thanks for listening